All right. Welcome to uh, Coffee with the Shenards. I still think we need to come up with a catchy name. I'm not the one for that job. Someone can come up with a catchy name. I feel like every time we brand or come up with something, you're like, Trisha, what should this be? And I'm like, I have no idea. And then I never know. <laughs> I still don't. Still so. don't. Nope. We have dogwood coffee. It is brewed, roasted in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Ooh. I think there is a place in the, what we're drinking t- in uh, the States too. What we're drinking today is Neon Espresso. And we don't know what it's supposed to taste like. So first we start off- it over the sticker too, so I don't know if that A little bit, yeah. a little bit. Um, first we smell it. And then we give our answers on what it smells like. It smells creamy. It does kind of smell creamy. Like a creamy coffee. Like a butter coffee. Oh. Is that what? Oh no, that's butter beer. I always get nervous I'm gonna inhale up and nose down. It hurts so bad. Okay, but what's butter coffee? Oh, bulletproof coffee. Oh, like actual butter coffee. No, I was just thinking of it smells like butterish. Mm -hmm. You're right. So what would we rate it as the smell? Out of I like it. Ten coffee beans and point one. Yeah, I'd say like an eight point six for smell. Okay, now we taste it. And we're gonna talk with the notes. Tastes like butter too. It does a little bit. It is. It's like it's silky. Delicious. Creamy. It tastes like oh, neon. Cream. Yeah, I don't understand what neon coffee, neon espresso. I guess it's like. No. There's like a barky taste, like um, oaky, kind of, a little bit. Earthy. No. A I good earth. The opposite. The opposite? <laughs> the opposite. The opposite. opposite. What is, what's the difference between opposite and opposite? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It means that your opinion is off. So it's off of the opposite. it. Yeah. The opposite. Off of what I think, which is always right, basically, so. Close my eyes, going to the place. Where am I sitting? No mind, where am I sitting? Probably always by the fire when you're camping. In the mountains, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it tastes creamy, buttery, smooth. It's very. Like heaven. It's a light espresso. I don't know if espressos, espressos are all supposed to be like dark, but this is light. Doesn't it taste light? What do you mean all supposed to be dark? I don't know, maybe I don't know what espresso is. Isn't it like light, medium, dark? But what's espresso? Light, medium, dark? No. It's the bean type. Yeah. We should do some research. I feel like for how much we drink coffee, we know the least ever. Yeah. I just drink it. I don't know anything about it either. Okay. I gotta I gotta do this again. Mm-hmm. I mm. put your before before you read it, you gotta look at the camera and give three tastes. Three? Yep. Um, I'm gonna say it's earthy. Creamy a taste. Sure. Okay. Creamy. Silky. I'm gonna say like a that's not a taste. A, a good taste. earthy, silky. That's not a taste. Well our descriptive word. Okay. That works too. I think it's our game show, so we do it one. Game show. Um, okay, one more word. So I said earthy. I think it's going to be like, I feel like neon has fruit. I can't go off of the date, but I feel like it would be like some sort of fruit, but I don't taste it. Something bright. Maybe it's like raisin. Hmm. What's your third one? Okay. Or do you have just one so far? Just one. Creamy? Yep. Check. I think it's like, mmm, like milk and honey. Milk and honey. Maybe honey, maybe? Straight out left like field. A little bit of like a little sweetness at the end. I'm just gonna stick with those two because I feel like you're not so stretch for me. Okay. Read it. Staying true to our roots, this espresso blend is bright and glows with sweetness. It's bright. In fact, we recommend wearing blue blockers while extracting. 
Okay. The body of this blend is like syrup with the candy coated can <laughs> Okay. Put your face in your <laughs> this body, the body of this blend is like syrup, and the candy coated finish lingers like a prairie uh, goodbye. No, matter without the sticker there, so I, I don't know what it think says. I, I, it does say prairie. What's a I, prairie goodbye? I don't know. It's either that or calorie goodbye. Oh, it's, like it's a calorie. Oh, it is prairie. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Okay, so let's put it up here again candy coated so it's sweet so i feel like i was right <laughs> <laughs> so I just like the packaging i'm proud of you you bought this all on your own i, I bought them say... by them all on my own yeah, that's true. yeah. That's true. i think we'll put the website so you can order your own in the show links i would highly YouTube. recommend this one it's really good okay so Wait. out of 10 coffee beans so we already talked about the smell, but overall, okay, out of 10. Taste. It's pretty light in my mind. Like it's not, I am I think I'm growing up because I like more acidity and like more punch now. I, I gotta tell you something. This is not related to this, but well it is. Lately, because it's been plus 400, I'm making iced coffee and I'm concerned about this, and I know this isn't okay, but I've been putting two shots in my iced coffee, which actually means four, because they're each double shots. Because when I make iced coffee, it tastes watered down, because there's ice in it. It's not good. So I just wanted you to know, if I die, that's probably why. This has been but. Confessions with the Chenards. Thank you yeah. for joining. So out of 10, yeah, sorry. I'm giving it, uh, it's a great coffee, but because it's not what I'm into right now, I want a little bit darker and more of the mountain feel. I'm going to give it a 7.9 out of 10. I only drink mountain coffee. Um, I disagree. I think it's wonderful. And I also I like didn't say it was bad. I know, but I also really like strong coffee and I still really like this. I think maybe you should try it with less What's water. What's your rating? 8.3. So pretty good. It's really good. It's Dogwood Coffee. Partly also because the packaging is pretty good. Dogwoodcoffee.com. Mm -hmm. It seems like an average of 8.1 between two of us Chenards. That was quick math. I forgot what you said. I don't know. I'm hoping no one does the math because I have no clue. <laughs> I think you did it right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.